if you're using a laser level with a magnetic wall mount you can stick that on the side of your bag and use it to guide your laser level What's up guys, welcome back to the back of my van for another back of the van review. Another one of my bags in collaboration with Velocity Pro Gear, we've made the Rogue 6.5 Camo Edition PB bag. Here it is. So you can see we've got the nice camo print design around the side of the bag. And it's a smaller version of the PB bag. Now when we first did the PB bag, we had no idea how well it was going to sell. Every time we get those bags back in stock, they sell out. And I had an idea of releasing a smaller version in a different style, and that's how the idea of the camo bag came along. It actually matches my new Engelbert Strauss camo shorts. This is the tool bag that when you see me coming out the side of my van on my Life of a Job in Plumber series, this is the bag I'm carrying. So it comes with a shoulder strap, but we'll have a good look inside the bag. Now, at the end of the video, I'm gonna give one of these bags away so look out for that so we'll start on the outside of the bag we've got tough plastic base waterproof and then we've got two sort of bigger size pockets and then a zip pocket on the front there good depth on that as with all my bags it will come with a pb badge on it you can get your own initials, you can get your company logo, whatever you want to stick on there. And then these straps, which are adjustable, so you can pull them down, you can put anything you want in there. Spirit level, lengths of pipe, bit of timber, whatever you're carrying onto your job, even your pipe benders. And then when you pull the handle, it grabs it. And that's the same for both sides. So this end here, we've got one, two, three, four, pen sort of size screwdriver size pockets they're spaced out enough so that you can get screwdriver handles in together we've got the d loop for the shoulder strap a smaller d loop with a strap for hanging whatever you want off there then we've got the magnetic backed sort of torch docking area it's designed to, for a torch to strap in there but you can also use that magnet i'll show you that more when we've got some kit on the bag reverse side of the bag similar to the front but we've mixed it up a bit so you can vary what kit you put in so we've got two smaller pockets either end rather than the one big one on the other side but again with a nice zip pocket see the full depth there and then on the other end again four screwdriver pen size pockets d-ring for your shoulder strap smaller d-ring to use whatever you want to hang off that double tape dock i use one for a mini spirit level and one for my tape if we look inside the bag there's the shoulder strap so we've got the removable pot which is a plastic tub with the removable divider in so you can take that out if you wish and that hooks on if you can see that we've got another tape loop in there so if you didn't want to use this tub and you wanted to put a tape on the inside of the bag, you could also do that. And that just sits in like that and locks in place. Above the tub, we've just got a thin pocket so it doesn't get in the way of what you keep in the tub, but you can use this space here to put smaller items in. See-through zip bag there. On this end, we've got two big full length pockets. And then along the main side of the bag, three big ones and six loops there for storing your vertical tools in. And then a nice big open area in the middle for whatever you want to keep in there, drills, hammers, whatever kit really that's bigger that won't fit in the vertical storage pockets. And then on the underside of the lid, we've got a full zip pocket there, which is the hole of the lid. 
and then storage for your long handled screwdrivers on the underside of the lid. So I've loaded the kit bag out now, I'll just show you a run through of, it's just an idea of what kind of tools you can get in, but first of all we'll start off with the adjustable straps. So if we pull these down, you can pop a spirit level in there, and like I said to you, you just pull the handle up and that will grab it, and then you can carry that into the job. Equally, if you want to carry something smaller, like say you're doing an outside tap and you've got some off-cuts of copper, if you want to carry on to the job, you can carry them on the side of your bag like that. Even your pipe benders if you wanted to. Now bear in mind, if you do put something big in the side of the bag like that, it will shorten this handle compared to this side. So you will either bear that in mind when you're carrying it, or if you put something on the other side as well, That'll even the straps out a bit. So then we'll look. This end you can see. I've got my mini level on there and my tape and I've used the pen pockets. These are the thicker sort of pens. So there's plenty of room for those in there. As well as screwdriver and your normal size pens. And then on this side, I've just got various hand tools that I want easy access to, like my knife, another torch, and then on this end, big enough for spanners, my most common used jokers there, mini pair of Nipex, master cool wrench. Now I'll just show you the, um, the torch dock. So this was designed with a Unilight in mind. So you, this one clips on, so the elastic holds it in, but there's also a magnet built into the bag. And in this bag that I'm running, I've got my power bank so I can charge the torch both in the same position. But what's great about this is if you don't want to put a torch there, you've got a magnet on your bag. If you're using a laser level with a magnetic wall mount, you can stick that on the side of your bag and use it to guide your laser level. I'll just show you that from the side. So it's stuck on the side of the bag there. So if we open the bag up and have a look on the inside, on the back edge there we've got all the vertical storage pockets. Now I've put a selection of tools in there, obviously there's room to get loads more in, but depending on what you load the bag out with depends on the weight of the bag. Now if I just tilt it forward slightly, you'll see we've got this nice big section in the middle. So, depending on what job you're doing, there's room in there for something like your Milwaukee compressor. A little weir set there. A bit of hose. Plenty of room in there for awkward shaped big kit. You could also get probably a couple of drill drivers in there. Put them side by side. Let me take that out. Bigger kit like grips that won't stand up vertical because they're too tall for the bag. They can sit in the things like a hammer, which would be too tall to stand up. There's room for that to go in the bag. Bit sets if you want to keep that in, say with your drill. Obviously, you take your time and set it up how you want it, but there's room in there for stuff like that. An awkward bits of kit that you'll never get in the vertical storage. You'll never find a bag that's designed for certain shaped stuff. There's just room in there for that.
big tube cutter. Lay that in a certain way on a laser level. There's room for everything in there. You can just decide what you're going to use the bag for, what trade you're in, and this bag will suit you. If we look on the underside of the bag, we've got 300mm long screwdriver, 200mm long. They sit nicely together, and we've got identification at the end on the longer screwdriver. And then the zip pocket, which I showed you before. Put whatever you want in there. But Velocity do do some nice camo design part bags. If you wanted to get yourself a set of them, you can keep smaller stuff tucked away in there. So you've got some parts, fiddly stuff that you don't really want to keep in the main bag. A look on the end there. Got pipe slices, tub of paste, some Loctite, some silicon grease in there. Tape, charge cable, just thin stuff in that top pocket. I've snuck my junior hacksaw at the side of the tub there, just making the most of the space. Zip pocket on the side, clear so you can see through. You can see my stubby screwdrivers. It's got a few different options in there. And then on the end of these nice big pockets, there's room for things like fluke tester, hex key set, whatever you want really. So that's the tour of the bag. Now we'll get it on the deck and we'll compare it to the original PB bag. So here's the two bags together. See the PB camo bag is a bit smaller. Same height. Same width, just not as long. So I've emptied both these bags. Now this is my PB bag, so it's had good use. It's a bit dirty. But this will just give you an idea. So inside the bags, you see we've got three pockets, four on the PB bag. Got the same pot, same zip pocket, clear zip pocket. But at this end, where well, we've got these two bigger pockets, the PB bag, original PB bag came with a removable work mat. So we've lost that on the smaller bag. But everything else is pretty much the same, just been shrunk down. These bags are super tough. They're reinforced in the corners with metal rods. You can see that one there. So they are proper tough, obviously the tough base. And when they're zipped up, they've got the sort of strength of a toolbox. Thanks for watching this far. I hope you like the bag. So I've got one to give away. Now I want to give this to an apprentice plumber. So if you're an apprentice plumber, or you've got an apprentice who would like this bag, leave me a comment as to why you want it or why they deserve it. And they can have one of these PB camo bags. Thanks for watching.